It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you one of my longtime friends and teachers, to Master Kirk. Cloud hands. I mean, you know, it doesn't get easier than that. So whether it be a jab, whether it be whatever, no, nothing fancy about it. It's just you know, your hands are up. And whether it be a simple one hand coming down in slow motion, you see that, and you can see that. I will say, be aware of twisting. Right? You're doing this whole thing with twisting. So I'm going to simply say, be aware of the principle, not the technique. Be aware of the principle. Okay. Yeah, make sure you have some room. Not meant to be anything too fancy. One more minute. So don't feel like the, this hand's got to do the same thing. This hand could just be, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's the circle. Once you understand, if I'm doing something like this and this hand just escapes, now here's the third hand coming up <laughs> into a trap. So see, I did one here, this hand just escaped, you know, like this, right, left, right. Okay, as opposed to thinking, well, he did that. What am I doing with this arm? Now I'm thinking, now you, you just lost that connection of that energy, right? It just stopped, as opposed to keep that energy going through. Okay, about another 45 seconds or so. Now I'll share that. Thank you. See the circles. Under to over, is that. Notice the energy is the water out of the hose and the energy's right there. Had I grabbed the hand, you could see what that could do. It's a nice little wrist lock, but I just wanted to show you that. Over to under, it's this easy. If there happened to be a strong, big person or they're holding you tight, the key is let your nose and navel go slightly. And you can see what that, it's just, you know, water hits the rock, it bounces off the rock, it also, goes around the rock. I could come across, this is going to tap here. I could bring it right here. I could drop it down. I'm waving to the camera. I could continue the circle, see what you come up with. They come with the right grab, right punch, and shift back. I can't emphasize that enough. I heard Master Joe talk about grappling over the weekend, and you know, you're, you're spreading the legs out, you're shifting your hips back. Uh, if they're not coming quite so fast or so hard, it may just be your hips. Yes, but if they're coming a little bit more with the energy or whatever, you may just shift back. Okay. So you got the right idea. The thing you have to remember, left hand on the inside, right arm on the outside. It's that easy. Why? Because this is closest to my body, my Russo hand, my main side hand. You can see a combination here. Okay. As this hand kind of lifts, that's when you move forward. That's what brings the energy up. That's what brings the energy up. And now watch this hand. It's going to do an oval shape like this as opposed to a linear shape like that. That's another key point. And notice the water coming through the fingers here, the hose. Okay. So I'm letting my, look at my hand here as opposed to here. That's the common uh, thing that most people do. Let the energy flow up and then oval it around. And you can see the spiral in the back. And I'm barely moving. I just happen to just turn my, my nose and nipple. While the energy flows down in a spring. <laughs> the same thing, nothing changes, nothing changes. The hand position is the same. The attack position is the other hand. So hopefully that's nothing surprising. You're not trying to do a new technique here. Small circle, my hand just wraps, comes around and it gets right about here. I step forward, 
this hand's gonna come down, and as it comes down, I'm gonna to step to where this hand is trapped against my body. See that? Now, as this hand's going down and up towards Kai, this other hand shoots out, goes underneath the chin, your pituitary, your glands are underneath there, you can use your fingertips, like that, not like that, but like that. You can come underneath the chin, there's some nice glands right there, or you can do over neck. Okay, come to the left hand, same thing, nothing changes. The middle circle, so as it comes around, it's think, coming to the forehead, and think of those that may know the palm heel strike, okay? This is a good one right here. Whew. See that? So there's the key word I've been saying already, the trap, try to trap. Notice my elbow is down in case I don't have that. And then as you play with this, you can kind of just keep in mind what I'm basically doing is I'm pulling and then I'm making an oval. So maybe I don't have it coming through his head, but watch this. By me just pushing back on his back, watch this. Look at that. Slow. Let's see what you got. Should be that easy. Nice and soft. Again. Shift back. Here's the ridge hand. This alone, boom. Right there. Punch. Stop. End of, you know, whatever. But it's a nice little drill. We can work on rear neck and choke, whatever it may be. Scooping, or if they're really big, you just kind of step back and there's space there and they're falling. I said this the last uh, night too also, is when you're first doing this, you want to get your head close to their head. Why? Because so they don't headbutt you, right? So you're not here, next thing you know, boom, they hit you in the nose. So plus by doing this, the little details, my head can push forward as I pull back. That's even more effective because I know you can feel that. So I'm doing this, a little bit like this, if you want to. You'll notice we'll go one, two, three. Here we go again. One, two, three. And then after three, four times, maybe five, now we go to the left hand. One, two, three. Notice. It pivots right from the wrist, but it's coming from the elbow. So I'm going right about there. What I'm not doing is one, two, see how my arm's making all this movement? Three, I'm basically going one, pivoting, two, pivoting back. Then as you get it down, now we go right, left. One, two, three, one, two, Now we're going to go one, two, one, two, five, one, five, 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 it's just changing the direction. Right hand, left hand, right hand, pull back. Now it's both hands coming from the left side. Left, right, okay. left, pull back. It's really that easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Notice the shifting. You feel like you're shifting from your hips. Both go ahead and not saying anything to see if they catch each other. You just kind of feel in that kind of nature. Now around the head, and while you're around the head. So you can see where we're going in about two minutes from now. But right now, do any, either the first one, which was heaven, that's the review, which is what you were doing. The second one, which is heaven and earth combined. But the third one, if you want to try it, is just the Third strike is around the head. Thank you. But if you have fun, so the little things I want to share, we gotta have fun because if we get too serious about it, it's you know, especially this kind of stuff. Drills are really important because what drills will teach is speed, repetition, combination. I mean, all those things that kind of come together. But when you put that together, then when it comes to the heaven forbid, the real switch. You just keep it simple. Oh, I just gotta do simple. I don't need to do a whole bunch of fancy stuff, kicking iron, spinning, and whatever. I just need boom, 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 get out of there, run. 
okay? But the drills will teach you all this other stuff that you're doing combinations or five times you're having to do this, and then five times, so if you can do something 15 times, then surely you can do it two times really right. well, and that's the goal, is do it two times really well by doing repetition a bunch of times, and then you break it down and you slow down. 